Yo, what is up YouTube? It is Zeta TCG here, and uh, the Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! ban list came out today. Um, I, I'm just going to do an analysis on what, on what I think of the ban list, and um, yeah, um, I'll get started. Um, well, first, uh, I'll go over what got hit. Um, Dijin? Dijin got banned. Um, Wobble Chain got banned. Um, Forbidden, Shrit got limited. Uh, Trish came off the, the, the ban list and is now limited at 1. Elanian Dragoons is at 2. Dragon Ravine is at 2. And the cards that are at 3 are Glow Up Bolt, Sinister Serpent, Dark Strike Fighter, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars, Temple of the Kings, and Exchange of the Spirit. Um, back to what got banned. Dijin absolutely deserved to get banned. Um, I actually predicted, I actually got two cards right uh, on my predictions uh, in my last video. Uh, I said that Dijin would get hit and that Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars would get put to three. I got those right. Everything else was absolutely wrong. I absolutely suck at this. I shouldn't be doing this anymore. Uh, no, but, uh, <laughs> um, but Dijin got hit, and, uh, Dijin absolutely deserved it. Uh, oh, man. Um, the Dijin lock was absolutely degenerate. Uh, we all hated it, unless it was on your end. Um, it, it was, Dijin, Dijin in this past format was almost kind of like poison to the game, you know? You know, just completely shut out your opponent from playing the game. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, unless if it's a card like like Bandies or or, or or okay, I shouldn't be so big. Card cards like Bandies Emptiness or Bandies Spin are completely different. But whenever Dijin, a card like this, is is at three, absolutely ridiculous. Um, and we know for sure that Hoban won't be cheating anymore with that card. Um, next up, Lavalval Chain. This is probably the most stupidest card to put on the mail. I'm so sorry. Um, Lavalval Chain is, in my opinion, in no way ban worthy. Um, it's it's not it's not ban worthy at all. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, this has to be. I've I've came back. The, to the Yu-Gi-Oh game whenever it was the summer ban list around this time last year in, in 2014 and out of all the ban lists I've been a part of this has to be the most stupidest card to ban I'm, I, I, I am I am so salty there's a salty taste in my mouth about this card um, I don't know what Konami was thinking I I really really don't know why um hitting a card that can be used in a lot of decks and a lot of creative decks excluding um the clown blade engine um banning a card like this is is absolutely stupid um there are other cards in the game right now that are more ban worthy than the wall chain right now I don't know what Konami was singing. Maybe, maybe Konami was on that same shit whenever they decided to ban Stratos, and which, by the way, is still banned. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm there's a pretty salty taste in my mouth about this card being being banned um, because Lavalo Chain Lavalo Chain is a very good card, and I know that there are more decks only run one one copy of this card. There are very, very few decks that run two copies. With maybe the blue-blooded Oni running two, possibly Clown Blade, but there's such a salty taste in my mouth about this card. You don't even know. Um, man, um... Shrit being at one, it slows down Necros, kind of like how they hit Dijin, but Necros did not get hit very hard. Um, 
this this will this kind of will start with what I'm saying. Okay. We give okay, well, Konami basically gives himself extra time to give us a, a good quality band list. That's what um I already forgot his freaking name. Um, but okay, the the head of Yu-Gi-Oh in, in Konami of America, who's who's in charge, he basically wanted wanted extra time to make this band list, and we give him over two weeks, and he gives us such a lazy band list. This, this is absolutely lazy. There's there's very few changes. You would expect that 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 if they wanted extra time. They wanted to get it right, you know what I mean? But instead, they didn't. They were just flat out lazy. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, if you don't agree with me, I don't give a shit. This was absolutely the most laziest ban list I've seen. Um, the fact that our meta still comprises of four decks with Necros, Burning Abyss, Shadals, and Satellar Knights. It's it's crazy in my mind um, because if you think about it, whenever I'm done talking about Shrit here, which by the way, um, to go off talking about my rant, uh, Shrit being hit at one, um, it like I said, it slows down Necros. I honestly think Shrit is, is a pretty damn is a pretty damn good card for Necros. I honestly think it should be run a little bit more. Uh, most decks run maybe one copy with maybe like two copies or Rota. But, um, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, back to my rant. Basically, after Shred being put to one, no other decks in the meta got hit. Straight up, man. Okay. We, if we look at BA, nothing. Dante, nor Sir got hit in any way um even though tour guide is still at one right here um Shadals still have their fusions specifically Shadal fusion and El Shadal fusion uh they still have construct as well and and, and when we look at Satellers um they still have Deneb they still have Altair they still have Vega they still have uh Satellar Nova Alpha they still have all the other great cards. Rota, the, the, in my opinion, one of one of one of the best searchers in the game. Um, and when and when we look at Necros now, they still have Trishula at three. They still have Unicorn at three. They still have Cycle at three, and they still have their Brianek at two. Their searcher. So, in the end, whenever we're done talking about Shrit, and you go down further on this list. Okay, Tr Trish, Trishla here is at one. Came back, uh, Dragoons came back from being from being limited to to now semi limited. Dr Dragon Ravine is making its comeback for uh, Dragoonities, and then uh, we have here um, Glow Up Bulb. It has that once once per dual turn or, um, or once per dual effect rather. Uh, Sinister Serpent, Arada, Dark Strike Fighter, Arada, a Temple of the Kings, Arada, Exchange of the Spirit, Arada. I'm sorry. If if you don't think this is a lazy band list, you're crazy. I'm sorry. Most laziest band list. Okay, that's my rant. Next, um, Trish at one. I don't know how I feel exactly about Trish being at one. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say I like it, and I'm also gonna, I'm also not gonna sit here and say I don't like it. I honestly, I'm gonna hope that Trish becomes a card in in today's meta that will be either too slow or whatever engine somebody tries to come up with with using DC and Grow. Um, I don't know other cards for tuners. I don't I don't run any any synchro type decks, even though I kind of want to. Um, but um, 
Yeah, I don't. I honestly do not know any any good cards to run a good engine with with this card to just simply shut out your opponent and just banish every card they have. But but until that comes around, I I have an open mind with this card. I'm willing to give it one format a shot. If, if somebody does happen to come up with some crazy engine um, and and really abuse its effect, well then I hope it's banned. Um, kind of like how Necros of Trish should also kind of be hit in some way. Um, next up, Atlantean Dragoons. Um, it's fine. It's fine for me. Um, it'll help out uh, Mermails, um, which is fine. Um, Dragon Ravine at two. Uh, that's fine by me too. Uh, Dra Dra Dragoonity players can finally be a little, a little, little bit more happier with this card um, being at two, and of course with um, Dragon Rulers being being done for apparently. Um, it, it's it's fine. Um, cards at three blow up bulb. Uh, it's fine. Um, it, well, like I said, it has that once per duel effect, so it's fine. Um, I expected uh, I expected most eroded cards to be brought back to three. Uh, Serpent, Dark Strike Fighter, Temple of the Kings, Exchange of the Spirit. Those are all fine with me. Um, and when a card gets eroded, it's bound to get put put back to three um, eventually, unless if its eroded effect is still pretty good, kind of like Crush Card. Um, where is that? Um, yeah, uh, I'm blind. Um, here we go. Yeah, uh, like like Crush Card. Crush Card got eroded and it's still there at one, which is fine. Um, and then uh, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars being at three, uh, I called that on my predictions. Um, Good move. Um, but yeah. Um, tell me, you guys. Tell me what you guys think about this ban list. I honestly think it's pretty damn lazy. Um, once again, Konami asks, basically gives themselves extra time to, to make a right ban list. But in the end, they only made maybe one big change in Dijin. And you could probably also say for Trish as well. And and then after that, it's 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 nothing big. There, there there's there's really there's really nothing that can overshadow the last format spam list. Whenever they got rid of the dragon rulers, um, they put a good hit on Necros for for a while with preparation of rights and then Brian Egg. So. Yeah, um, tell me what you guys think, um, go ahead and comment in, in the comment section below. Um, you can um, follow me on my social media platforms, uh, I'm on Instagram and Twitter, uh, that is at ZATCG, I'll have that in my description. Um, also, um, do not forget to uh, subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon videos. And, um, yeah, um, what I have in schedule, uh, tomorrow, I have a Duelist Pack Battle City box that should be coming in, uh, hopefully tomorrow for sure. And then after that, I did pre-order a Dragons of Legend 2 booster box, and I'm hoping that comes in the mail, um, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday next week. So stay tuned for that as well. I am pretty excited to open up those sets because there are some really, really good cards in both of those sets. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is Zeta TCG 